What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. So let's start out with that first thing that your salesman may not be telling you about these four series tractors. And the first one is going to be that you do have two transmission options. Now, most of these tractors that dealers are ordering in are going to have the e-hydro transmission, which means it has a hydrostatic transmission that has the twin touch pedals in it. And it's also going to have a set of features over here on the right, which we're gonna talk about in a minute that go with that transmission. But you do have the option of getting into a power reverser transmission, and this could also be a cheaper option for you if the 4 Series is something you're looking into. Now, this is going to be more of your standard gear style transmission where we're going to change gears using that clutch, but then we're going to have a handle over on the left hand side to be able to go into forward and reverse. Now, number two is going to have to do with one of those transmission options, and that is the e hydro. But number two is the fact that you are going to have four features that are specific to this transmission that are standard with that e-hydro transmission and this is going to be speed match motion match load match and e-throttle now all four of these features are going to be ones that will help the functionality of your tractor and help you to be more productive now motion match is going to be the one here that is on the dial and you'll see that you're going to have a tractor with an emblem with a longer arrow below it and then a tractor on the other side with a shorter arrow and this is going to change the way your tractor does roll out so once you let off of that pedal whether we're going in forward and reverse if that dial is closer to the longer arrow, you're going to have a longer roll to your tractor. Whereas if we have it twisted all the way to the right, you're going to have a sooner stop whenever you go to stop with this machine. So as soon as you let off of that foot pedal, that machine is going to come to a stop. Now, load match. This is going to be a big one whenever we're using loader work. If we are going to be lifting those high pile, those heavy piles and getting into that heavy loader work we want to make sure and use this button because what this is going to do is this is going to raise those rpms of the engine keep it from stalling out whenever we are doing that heavy loader work whereas if we do not have that on we get too heavy of a load we don't have our tractor running high enough we could possibly stall this machine out now e-throttle is one that is going to help us in those situations where we're looking at saving fuel maybe we're mowing maybe we're doing things where we're not needing that high throttle all the time we can hit that e throttle button and this is only going to raise the rpms of the tractor as we push in that forward or reverse pedal to make sure that they are matching the speed of the tractor with the speed of the engine that it needs to go now lastly is going to be speed match and this is one that is actually going to act as a creeper mode on this tractor you can set the max speed for that, those twin touch pedals. So the harder you push it in, whether you have it all the way pushed down, you are only going to have a set speed. And this can be adjusted right there at those controls with the plus and minus buttons once this feature is activated. Number three is gonna have to do with our engine. So in the four series tractors, also like in the three series tractors, you do have the option of getting a turbocharged engine or a naturally aspirated. So in the 4044M, you get a naturally aspirated machine. Once you move up into the 4052 or the 4066, now you are going to move in to a turbocharger. So number four is going to deal specifically with the 4R series tractors, but it is a feature that I think gets overlooked and not talked about enough that could possibly move somebody up from a 4M to the 4R just for these two features, and that is going to be hitch assist here at the rear. So on the 4R series tractors, you're actually going to have a system over here on the driver's side fender that's going to allow you to move the tractor while not being in the seat to help you with hooking up these rear implements. Now, if you wanna see this in action, I actually have a video of this doing this on a 4052R that I will put a link down in the description below, but you also are going to have three point assist here at the rear too. That way that you can raise and lower these three point arms. That way, whenever we're needing to hook up these rear implements and we're by ourselves, we're not not having to look and do a lot of guesswork from inside the tractor. We can do that all from outside. So hitch assist, the three-point assist, 
big feature that definitely gets missed out on. Now, number five can be a little bit controversial, but this is one that I think is the most important and one that you as a consumer really need to think about. When you are going into the dealership, you may have in your mind, I need a 40 horsepower tractor. So whenever you are thinking that 40 horsepower range, instantly, 90% of the time, I would say a salesman is gonna push you into that four series range, which is not a bad idea. You're getting a good size tractor, a good heavy frame with tons of capability. But you've gotta think about what you're gonna be doing with this tractor, because you're also going to have a couple of options down in the three series of tractors that's also in that 40 horsepower range. So scenario time. If we're talking about getting into a mower that maybe we're just doing a little bit of front loader work with and a lot of mowing at the rear. A lot of times what I've seen is that customers will get pushed into that 4044M tractor, which is a great tractor option. You're going to have tons of capability, a heavy frame, but one thing to keep in mind is whenever we're looking at one of those tractors, we're looking right around that $40,000 range. Now, if we are only looking at doing that light front end loader work and a ton of mowing, another option that you could consider is a 3043D. You're going to be about one and a half horsepower difference from the 4044M to the 43D. And you're also going to be about $8,000 cheaper moving down into that 3043D. So this just goes into whenever we're looking at this four series, a lot of customers have that misconception that the four series is where our 40 horsepower is gonna start, but that is not the case. So you need to make sure that you are exploring all of those options. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, we just asked you'd hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, if you're needing any parts for your John Deere equipment, make sure to go check us out at 247parts.com. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.